my name is Kathy Ramona Smith. I'm the CEO and founder of Chandelier Transformations Youth Mentoring. It's a 501c3 nonprofit organization here in the Tampa Bay area that mentors middle school and high school girls from low socioeconomic neighborhoods. And we mentor them on leadership, self-esteem, healthy relationships, suicide prevention, and so much more. I was referred to uh, Julo Strategy CEO Mindset by Ms. Shante of Grant, uh, what is it, Grant Life Incorporated. She, I was searching for a grant writer, basically, and I came across Shante by an, a mutual friend of ours. And as I began telling her about Chandelier Transformations Youth Mentoring, she began telling me about CEO Mindset and that she too had gone through the program. And it's a great program and resource for veterans to really just hone in on their entrepreneurship skills and to help us to take our businesses to the next level. So what did you learn about yourself after taking the course? I learned that I can do it. All of those self-defeating, uh, self-sabotaging thought patterns that keep us stuck in our own mind. I'm a human resource major and many times we analyze and sometimes we analyze to the point that it can be hurtful in other areas of our lives. So taking CEO mindset really allowed me to one, see, see the issues within myself know that what I think is not necessarily what someone else may be thinking, and to just go forth courageously and do what I was called to do, which may be speaking or mentoring or whatever it may be that, that I'm doing in that moment. So it gave me the confidence to feel like I can win. My biggest aha moment, and this is so funny because I started Chandelier Transformations, originally Chandeliers for Christ back in October of 2017 as I was transitioning from active duty. And from 2017 up until 2020, I thought that my clients were the, the young ladies that come through the mentoring program. So that had always been my focus, appealing to them. And going through CEO mindset phase one, I realized that my clients are the investors, so those donors, those, those grants, the things that get, allow me to have the resources that I need to bring the services to the community and to the, the children that I serve. And before the course, were you looking to hire at all? And if so did that change after taking the course? Before the course, I wasn't really looking to hire because I didn't feel like I had the resources. I didn't feel like I had the capital yet to bring on employees and taking the course really changed my mindset. It changed my mindset and the aspect that I realized I'm already hiring. Every time I need someone to work on my web page, I'm hiring someone to go in and to fix that web page. Every time I need someone maybe to help with social media content, I'm hiring someone to do that. As I go out and we do events with, with the youth and we may need caterers, we're hiring people to do that. So we have to think outside the box and realize it's not so much of waiting on this large pot of money to drop into your bank account. You're already hiring people and you have to document that. I do feel like my revenue has changed and increased. And again, kind of outside the box, not necessarily in the lump sum in the bank account, but just the people who have reached out and the expertise that they bring, the community relationships that I've gained just as a um, getting out and, and speaking with people. One of the things that Julianne mentioned to me in CEO Mindset, when we went through that CEO of me chart and we're listing out all of the things that we do ourselves within the organization. You're the admin assistant, you're the HR person, you're the intake coordinator, you're the sponsorship person. And all of those things that we're doing, um, I really feel like I gained revenue just by delegating some of those other tasks and being able to get out and talk about my business and gaining those strategic partnerships for people to come on. And now that's a service that I may not necessarily have to pay anyone else to do. So that saves the organization money. Now that uh, whatever the strategic partnership may be, I'm providing a service for them. They're providing a service for me and both organizations win. Do you feel you have more time or can allocate your time differently? 
I do. I definitely feel like going through that CEO of me mindset, uh, that CEO of me chart, going back to that and just realizing all of the things that kept me feeling overwhelmed and stuck and not able to move forward or in CEO mindset terms, get stuff done. Uh, not being able to do that, um, realizing some of those tasks that I could delegate out, it allows me time and freedom to maybe focus on the things that I really need to be focused on, like speaking to the community and our city officials and different people about what it is that Chandelier Transformations really does, how we make an impact in the lives of our youth, how mentoring may help deter a, a teenager from moving into juvenile delinquency or coming in contact with our justice system, how mentoring them on self-esteem and healthy relationships may prevent those self-sabotaging, self-limiting uh, beliefs from setting in and making them aware and avoiding suicide prevention because it breaks my heart. I have I, I don't like to hear about any suicide, but when it's our youth and we have to deal with social bullying now, we we're, we have social media. When I grew up, we may have had pagers. I think beepers had just come out <laughs> when I grew up, but we, we didn't have uh, social media. We didn't have Facebook and Instagram and things like that where people could send you messages or they could post things about you that would really just hurt you and who make you feel so little of yourself that you would want to take your own life. So I get time to go out and to do those things versus being stuck always taking care of paperwork. Do you feel like you overcame any fears that were holding you back prior to taking the class? Mm, fears holding me back prior to taking the class. I think that there was times where I may have felt unworthy or unqualified and we get stuck in our past mistakes and like, hey, can I really go forth and do this? And in CEO mindset, it gives you that confidence. And I love Julianne because she always says, Kathy, what you think is not necessarily what the audience thinks or what the other people are thinking. Don't get stuck in your own thinking. Even this week in class in phase two, I went in and I was telling them, I said, you know what guys, I got my eyebrows. I did the henna tattoo on my eyebrows. And I was telling them, I feel really weird right now. I feel like I'm looking really strange right now. And they were like, I thought that you were looking amazing over there. One, uh, one of the co where she was like, I thought you were looking amazing and I was feeling bad about how I felt. And somebody else was like, Kathy, we would not have even noticed had you not said anything. And it just took me back, even without her saying it, it took me back to that statement. What you think is not necessarily what anybody else is thinking when they look at you. So we wanna make sure that we don't get stuck in that and just go forth and do you. Just be yourself, enjoy what you're doing and everything else will follow. For me to be a CEO, I think it means just walking in my calling and realizing the gifts and talents that God placed on the inside of me, that 18 plus years of military experience, being that sexual assault victim advocate, the equal opportunity leader, always being the voice for those who may not have necessarily had a voice, but taking that and elevating it to the next level at this point, working for myself and bringing those same gifts and talents to my community, to the youth that are in the community and allowing them to go forth and to flourish in their gifts and talents and helping them to overcome those many um, self-limiting beliefs and realizing that the same way that I walked through this and I may have accomplished my bachelor's or my master's, guess what? That same energy is on the inside of you. You can do that same thing with your very life. Let's just sit down and see what which path is better or things like that. To someone that's never heard about Julo strategy or CEO mindset, I would highly recommend that you take this class. It will bless your life, whether you are already a CEO, whether you're thinking about starting a business and not knowing where to start, or if you decide maybe entrepreneurship is not the avenue for you, but you need to shift your mindset, shift your thinking so that you can be a greater employee for your employer or whatever you're doing, it helps to increase those, those 
the, the confidence that you need to be great. Because when we don't feel good about ourselves, what type of product do we provide to our customers and clients, whether that's in our business or whether that's at a job for someone else? Um, it takes me back to if you're on the airplane and the stewardess tells you to make sure and put on your oxygen mask before you put on anyone else's. If you can't take care of you and if you can't live healthy and if you don't realize that there are some things that you have to that you have to delegate you can't accomplish everything on your own make a take a list create those recipes make write out all of the tasks that you are responsible for accomplishing and realize what task is it that you can delegate so that now you can focus on the more important thing and you can get more important things done so that you can focus on the more important thing and you can get those important things done. Um, the recipes. In the military, we have SOPs. Well, with CEO Mindset, we talked about creating recipes for everything that we have. And I love that because in the military, yes, we have our standard operating procedures. We can flip to a checklist. But what happens if you encounter a scenario that may not necessarily fall in line with that checklist? That's where those recipes come into play. And now you have that you have that alternative approach to making sure that you can still accomplish your task and get your work done. CEO mindset truly allows you to step outside of the box in your thinking and to just excel and to flourish in what it is that you really need to accomplish and to get your mission done. Very well said. So do you have any success stories or anything that you'd like to share that came as a result after taking the course? After taking CEO Mindset, I have some great success stories. I, um, my husband and I are working together. He sent forth my information to get on Mayor Jane Castor's calendar. So I'm excited about that and waiting to get on. I was able to present that information to uh, my CEO Mindset class. And we talked about some different strategies and things to look at the quantitative data so that I have that when I go before her just to maximize the potential of that particular meeting. Meeting. I met with a group of ladies just this past Sunday, not doing anything extraordinary, but just getting out and networking and talking about my organization. And I found a dynamic group of women right here in the Brandon area that are willing to host Chandelier Transformation Youth Mentoring meeting space. So I found that to be phenomenal. Whereas all before I was looking at locking in on contracts with event spaces or hotels, trying to find something that would fit within the budget but then to come across someone that says you know what i love your mission and what you do i want to host you we're going to host your meeting space and anybody out there if you have a nonprofit organization you know that we try to save money and bring in as much money as we can so that we can accomplish our mission so that is absolutely phenomenal and just networking with the cohorts that are in the course we share resources back and forth with one another all the time and i that is phenomenal